All right, another game in the early window, Michigan State and Miami. Michigan State goes to Hard Rock Stadium. Um, and a game that was pretty close for the first half, and then Michigan State kind of pulls away, 38-17. to 17. Um, And you mentioned kind of going into this week, you thought maybe Alabama sort of just – ruined Miami for, for the foreseeable future. <laughs> um, if the lesson here, of course, is don't ever schedule Alabama in the first game of the season. <laughs> but yeah, impressive showing by Michigan State. What, what did you think about this game? Uh, yes. I mean, this was one of my locks of the week. Um, I, I really felt that the wrong team was favored. I think I maybe even mentioned that. But no, M- Michigan State was the better football team um, by a long shot. Uh, Kenneth Walker, the running back from Michigan State, the transfer in, is electric, um, breaks a ton of tackles. I I think, like, he's a top five running back in all of college football. Like, I don't think that's out of the question. I think he's really, really good. You watch him play. It, the first guy never gets him. Um, he's, he's, he's quick, he's fast, and has good hands and, and some physicality to throw in there too. Um, Peyton Thorne had four touchdowns, um, was efficient. No, no, no huge throws. They were, but he was smart. He made, he made the right calls and his touchdowns were like little dump offs to the running backs. But I mean, the the offense moved, the the offense was efficient. Miami, this, this felt like we mentioned, I think on our last pod that this almost felt must win for Manny Diaz or close. It did not look good when, when the camera, when ESPN's camera just like just like looks at the coach after every bad play, like you know, like the hot seat is getting hot, like it's starting to warm up there, and that's kind of what started happening. And it, he looked a bit disheveled, Manny Diaz did on the sideline. So, I mean, the, the ACC is still ahead for them. Like they they could still win their conference yet. The, um, the season's not over. You're still you're still talented. You're still a very talented team. Yeah, it's. It's it's all ahead of them yet for Miami, but they do look broken. This looks like a broken football team. A lot of penalties, a lot of missed assignments. They just didn't look good. Yeah, I I might be. I, I'm probably not alone in this. I, I'm I'm curious to hear your thoughts, Derek King. I don't know, man. I feel like he has not really grown at Miami. <laughs> like he, he doesn't feel like he's any better than when he got there originally. Threw two picks today. Had that one bad fumble early um, when it was still a very close game. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, do you feel like he has? What do you? What are your thoughts on Derek King? Because obviously he's he's always been an exciting player. I'm just not sure he's a great quarterback. No, I, that's exactly right. Very exciting. The uh, not a not a great quarterback. At least hasn't shown it to us at Miami. Um, yeah, he transferred in. When he transferred in from Houston, he was viewed as a game changer, a complete game changer, and and he's talented. The talent he has talent. There's no question about that. I think just maybe a lack of consistent consistently making the right decisions he makes some head scratching throws sometimes. Where he had one today against against Michigan State, where he, he throws this just a seam route and. I mean, the safety was just sitting on it. Like he just kind of threw it right at the safety and it was, that was never going to be there. And I, you've seen stuff like that happen to him quite a bit where he a very talented kid and, and he has talent around him. Like there's talent there at Miami. Some of his receivers are, are pretty good. And yeah, just, I think lack of consistency is where I would go to just some head scratching decisions sometime. And you hate to pile on the Miami coaching staff too much, but it looks like that. That's that's on coaching at the end of the day. That is on coaching to to be allowing him to make some of those throws. Yeah, and I noticed one thing too is he, it doesn't seem like he always sees the open guy. Um, he had a, he had a touchdown pass on fourth down in the first half, and on third down, uh, he he passed over a wide open guy on the goal line <laughs> into double coverage behind him for another receiver. I, I don't know, like. And, and props to him, like he came back on fourth down and threw the touchdown, like that's great. But I don't know, making those simple throws, yeah, just need more consistency from Derek King. Uh, 